to my channel Miranda Beatty here and today I have a video on how I revamp this unit and style this unit and how I wear my hair under this unit so I don't know it's probably going to be a long lengthy video but you know if you guys are interested definitely stay tuned um the hair that I am wearing is actually by Rosa Beauty on AliExpress which I actually bought probably last year around this time actually and I yeah I still have it I made it into a wig if I'm not mistaken there are four bundles of definitely 22 2018 and probably like a 14 inch closure I can't exactly remember every detail because it was a while ago but I'm for sure the bundles are those lengths um, and the origin of the hair is Brazilian um, it came naturally um, like a dark brown I dyed it when I first had it I dyed it blonde and I had it ombre from blonde from from like bra dark brown to blonde and then I revamped it by dyeing it black and then I bleached the ends again and I dyed it purple and I wore it purple for like maybe a month and recently I decided to dye it again so I rebleached the ends again and I decided to dye it like burgundy like burgundy red I've never tried this color before I've kind of been told that it wouldn't suit me but I actually really like it um personally I think it's maybe one of the best colors that suited me but uh yeah I show you what I use to do all of that in the video I actually was planning on revamping um the last wig that I was wearing which was that curly wig and I had dyed the ends like blue and it it got ruined I show you guys like I bleached it so it was over processed and when I washed the the hair it was just gummy and it was just falling apart and I was really upset but then I was like okay well I still have this wig let me just try it and be more careful so that's why I ended up using this wig um but you guys will see me bleaching up the first wig and then I switch over to the second wig or whatever but yeah I bleached it and I'm just really happy with how it turned out so if you guys would like to see how I revamped this look please continue to keep on watching if you guys would like to see the tutorial on my makeup that I'm wearing definitely click this link and thank you for everybody that is subscribing if you are new to my channel please hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys so I'm starting off by bleaching the first wig. I'm showing you guys this process of the first wig just because of the fact that I didn't record me bleaching the second wig. It's the exact same process. Um, with this wig, I just ended up making a big mistake. I left the bleach on of the hair for too long. I left on for maybe like 40 minutes and I should have done it in two sessions. So that's what I ended up doing to the second wig. I did the same. I mixed up the bleach. The bleach that I'm using is Quick Blue. And I put it on the ends of where the dye is. Left it on for 20 minutes instead of 40 altogether. I rinsed off the bleach and then I washed it with Shimmer Light Shampoo. And then I went in a second time for another process. And I got my desired lift that I needed. And so this is the result of the second wig. So now I'm just taking Adore Cinnamon Hair Dye, Fiesta Fuchsia, and Crimson. I'm mixing all equal parts, which are the full bottles of each hair dye. And I mix it up in my mixing bowl. And that is what I mix together to achieve the hair color that I have on the ends. I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. 
So now I'm just taking um, my dye brush and I'm brushing it on the ends of the bleached parts, making sure to concentrate a lot of the color on it so that I can get each and every strand. I want to make sure that this is an even color application. Just as a disclaimer, I'm not a professional hair colorist or hairstylist. I'm a makeup artist, but I do love doing hair. So yeah, just to let you guys know. So I like experimenting. So I'm going in with a fine tooth comb and I'm combing out smaller sections. And like I said, I want this to be a very even dye process. So I'm combing out and as you guys can see, there are some parts where I didn't get all the hair dye in. So I'm going to go back with the dye brush and get those parts down packed. So now this is the process of my natural hair. I do not know how to cane roll, you guys. Yes, I know. I cannot cane roll for the life of me, but I can flat twist. So the way I wear my hair under all my wigs is by flat twisting. So right now I'm just taking a wide tooth comb and figuring out where I want my middle part to be because I'm wearing the wig with the middle part and I'm just, you know, sectioning it off properly. I use hair food. I use a bunch of different oils, but today I feel like using hair food to moisturize each section of my hair and my scalp. So now, like I said, I'm going to flat twist my hair. I'm just taking two strands, twisting it over, and as I twist down, grabbing a piece so that each connects and overlap with each other, and that's how I flat twist. Um, it's a very simple process, but I do that all over my head. Once all of the braids are done, and I repeat this process on both sides, I then take each of the braids and I flat twist and intertwine them together, pulling them taut. I am being gentle with my hair, but I want to make sure that I get each of the flat twists as flat as possible so that when I am wearing it under my wig, it's flat, you know? After I do both sides of my head, I put them both together in a ponytail. And then I go in with some sewing thread and a needle and I sew down the end part of the ponytail to my head so that it's even flat. Flatter! Then I'm going to lay my edges down and tie my hair down with a silk scarf. Now it's the next day and this is the end result of the wig and the hair color. It's all dry now and so I'm just going to remove my head tie and put my wig on. I don't have any elast like uh, clips. I do have an elastic band. I don't have any clips on the edges of the wig. So what I do to just have it flat is I have the rubber band method around the closure and that's how I wear my wigs. They stay flat and secure on my head. So yeah, that's how I wear them. Now I'm just pulling out a little bit of my edges to kind of hide the lace and make it look a little bit more realistic. Then I go in down on the part with some concealer. 
I'm using LA Girls Cool Tan Concealer and then I set the concealer with MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC50 because it's just a little bit lighter than my skin because your scalp is always a little bit lighter than your skin. And then I'm going to go in with my flat iron to press down that part so that it lays even flat. And then I'm going to go in and straighten and flat iron the hair. It is a little bit of a textured hair. Uh, it's like a body wave, so I want to make sure that it's flat. I'm using my new May um, flat iron, and I don't need it to be bone perfectly straight, but straight enough so that it's flat and nice and smooth at the top. And when I, you know, go in and curl it with the flat iron again, it looks nice. Now I'm just taking medium sized chunks. I'm not really sectioning it off perfectly because I don't want it to be like a perfect curled look. I want it to kind of be like a messy, nice, full and body curl look, like loose curls basically. So I'm taking my straightener and I'm curling medium sized sections. Now just going in with my paddle brush, I'm just going to brush out so that it has like, see that loose body curl? And I do the same to the other side. That is the final look, you guys. Um, I'm upset about the first wig, but I'm glad I was able to redeem myself with the second wig. And I actually got the color that I was imagining in my head. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this kind of tutorial on how to revamp your wig. And if you would like to see more hair videos, please comment down below and thumbs up this video. If you would like to see the tutorial on this look, please subscribe to my channel and click the link below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys.